Well, did you know sharing a story of how an adopted pet changed your life could help Young Williams Animal Center? Here's more about that, and we're meeting Harley, our pet of the week. Well, she is a senior dog. She's about eight. Um, like many Rottweilers, um, she's very obedient and very smart. And I've only known her here for a couple of minutes. She's very interested in what's going on out here and wants to explore. Um, she uh, is a strong dog, but she's really been obeying us pretty well. So she's definitely a sweet potential family member. Petco wants to hear the great stories of how an adopted pet has changed your life and because they really do make a big difference, especially, you know, a great dog here like Harley. Um, so if you go to our website or our Facebook page, you'll get instructions. And if you submit your story, um, depending upon uh, what other stories are submitted, then um, we could get up to $50,000 um, or more, depending upon the stories we get. So the more stories we have, um, we know that they're all unique and how lovely they are uh, the better for chances that we'll get that kind of support from Petco so really uh, so much of our support does come from donations and grants like this and that type of support is amazing and what it allows us to do for the pets in our care and to help fulfill our mission of for every pet to have a loving home so we have a behavior department that has staff members whose job is to work on training efforts. Um, some of our dogs are kind of what we call teenagers. They're a little bit active. They want to be all over the place, so they need some basic manners. So basically, we're just trying to help train our pets uh, so they wind up doing better in homes. As you can imagine, an animal that's been um, through the stress of being given up or being lost and staying in a shelter where there's unfamiliar sounds and people it sometimes might take a few minutes or a few weeks or months to get used to the new home and so we do have training support we provide and sometimes even if someone thinks they're having problems with a pet and they might have to surrender it we can also support behavior needs for theirs for that so that's one of the things that this type of grant supports is allowing us to help provide behavior support for adopters in the community so that we can reduce intake and also improve um, the lifelong uh, adoption for our pets. Now everybody has different expectations and what they're looking for in a dog. Um, I have a chihuahua and all she wants to do is sit in my lap on the couch. So I really don't have to worry too much about teaching her to sit and stay and stuff like that. Big dog like Harley, um, if, he gets, if she gets a wild hair and she wants to run across the street and I can't control her, that could be disastrous for her and for um, my family. Um, it could lead to a lot of heartbreak. So it really is important. And um, so having basic manners, um, knowing things like how to sit, how to stay, come when you call are really important important and like I say a lot of the dogs that we are adopting out um, are great maybe they just haven't had any training and so um, it's important to give them that experience so that they're easier to care for for the community all right to learn more about how you can help young Williams or to apply to adopt Harley just head on over to young-williams.org